Welcome Aquarius Pisces to your Astrodice reading for March. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Straight into this. Best message, please, for Uncle Pisces. Ooh. Going straight into the sixth house with some Saturn energy. Ooh, and some Scorpio. Whoa. Okay. Part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom is what's going on over here and how it's going to be done is with scorpion energy mm. scorpion energy is the energy that is intense masterful thoughtful and magnificently charming but also secure uh, secretive and possessive i was going to say they, they get a little insecure as well um, I don't feel like that's going to be a big problem for you, but I do feel like insecurity in some way is going to be in this reading because um, I keep hearing it, and I think it's coming from maybe the person that you're with. Um, maybe it also even brings a little insecurity into you because of the way they're doing something. Um, something is going on uh, within the sixth house. Um, the sixth house is talking about the hobbies, the work, the health, the duties of your life, the relationships, outside relationships also as well um, so it could be co-workers co things of this nature but i do feel like there is something going on um we'll have to see where it's coming up in um but it is definitely a part that's going to accept the challenge the challenge to gain the wisdom i'm thinking maybe it's the insecurity of this other person trying to what is how are you going to make them not be so insecure it could be a challenge in itself i'm um, trying to build their right and build their self-esteem um for some of you i just keep hearing that it's almost like you know they're holding something um going straight to the beginning of the month the middle of the month and the end of the month whoa we got three cards right here king of swords here you are this is going to be your card and it's saying because there's a lot of communication that's going on over here but i'm really standing my ground with knowledge i know something's going on um this is the part that definitely is wanting to gain the wisdom as you're analytically thinking about the situation so something is going to catch your attention at the beginning of the month it's going to have you thinking a lot over here aqua pisces okay so so that right there is already in the making of what what's going on <laughs> And it's because something, there it is, because someone has said something that has caused a little pain, either that or they're holding on to a lot of pain. And it's, it's, it could be even painful for you because you're trying to figure this out. Um, take that how it resonates with the five of swords in reverse. So it does feel like whatever, I think they were irresponsible with your heart. I'm going that way. I see the heart. It's popping out at me. I think they were a little, in, you know, maybe their insecurities have, like I said, made you a little insecure about how you're going to open up for a second, but it's got you thinking. Um, and I do think they were a little irresponsible with your own heart. I think they kind of dropped the ball on the way that they had spoke to you and it's put you into a challenge mode. There's definitely some kind of irresponsibility going on. It's really challenging. They might even try to take your swords away from you. Man, there's so many swords and so much communication. So where I could think of with the, you know, in the Scorpio over here is just like, look, I don't know what you're doing, right? Not quite on the King of Swords. It feels like you tried to kind of sweep it. You're like trying to sweep it under the rug and just let it go. But something has changed. It's, it's a challenge though, right? So it's one of those things like even if I sweep it under the rug um, and say I'm not going to deal with it, I can't stop thinking about it because it's in my brain, right? Um, and it's making me think too much. So it's almost something that you feel like you have to go and try to figure out um, why they did this, what's going on, how did this happen, yeah. And this is because you, you you definitely have to have some healing from this. They really did hurt you. Um, but I think it was because you guys were getting along so well. Things were going so well with the star card over here. Um, if it's a person, person, you might feel like 
There's an unhealthiness here in its own way. This is definitely something unhealthy. For some of you, I don't know who this is for, but you're going to find out that someone is actually hiding a health issue from you. You know something is wrong. You know they're not healthy, but they're not telling you exactly what's wrong with them. And they may have a heart condition. Um, for others of you, you might even think that they're hiding that they or don't know, and it's got you in your head because you might think they might be bipolar. Just bringing up the health issues that I'm seeing. Um, and it's got you, no matter what, it's got you thinking. Unless it's you, you know, who's trying to keep that secretive from them because you don't want them to know that you, you know, no, I'm fine, you know, I just have a little heart arrhythmia. I'm, I'm good. Gotta get, get that checked out, guys. And for others of you, you're like, I, I think you should really do that because there's something going on. They're definitely, you're responsible about getting to the health care, getting that checked out from a doctor, or they're just hiding it from you. Take it how it resonates. Something's going on there. I don't, and that would be, maybe, you know, and that's under the health area. Over. You see the health again. Spirit is definitely bringing up something about a, a health issue. And people are just like kind of letting it go. Like, you, like I said, sweeping it under the rug. Like, I'll be fine. Too lazy to get to the doctor. Five of swords upside down. Too lazy. You're responsible. Hiding it, you know. Uh, being secretive about it, don't want to deal with it, um, pretending that like it doesn't exist. Um, I just think that, you know, whatever it is, and I think some of you, Aqua Pisces, I think some of you, it is you. Um, for others of you, it is definitely somebody who's hiding something from you, but you are analytically thinking about it. And for those of you who actually do have this, guys, please go to the doctor. Because it could be something that's like my hands and my feet fall asleep and I'm having some kind of um, issue. Cardiovascular issue. <clears throat> For others of you, you know that there's something going on with this person. And you're trying to like not think, fine, if they don't want to take care of it, you know, whatever. But you're still, it's, it's still a challenge because you, you know, it's still in your mind. And maybe for some of you, you're, maybe you're a little scared to go, you know. Maybe they're scared to go, however it is. Okay. But otherwise, for others of you, something is going on. If it's not a health issue, even though we are bringing the health issue in, because um, we see a lot of that. Um, it's definitely something that they're being irresponsible about with your within your heart. Um, going back to that to where they're kind of making you very upset about the situation. And you're trying to let that go. It was like, you hurt my my feelings. You know, but I don't want to do that because I really do love you. And I really do think you're the one for me. I just wish that you wouldn't do that. I wish you'd take more responsibility. I wish you, you know, uh, would do things, you know, to show me that you love me or if you really love me, why you hurt me. Um, and just trying to accept that challenge. Many challenges going on, and it could be both. It could be two in one. Going to the mid-month. And it's definitely in the sixth house, so health and duties of your life, relationships. Maybe some of you, too, know that you should get to the gym, um, and you're not getting to the gym, my friends, to work out, you know, to get healthy again, right? Or maybe you know they should as well. Uh, with the six of pin or the king of pentacles in the mid-month, you're still accepting this challenge to gain the wisdom. You're trying to figure out exactly what the heck is going on um, or how you're going to do this to do that, right? Everybody's story is a little different, but with the king of pentacles, uh, it's a burden, you just want it to be fair. You just want it to be justified. You just want it to be, you know, justified in the sixth house that everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. Um, but you would also like to hear the truth about the situation. I feel like those who you feel are kind of being irresponsible, hiding something, whatever the problem might be, you just really want the truth to come out about the situation with the King of Pentacles. You guys could be definitely dealing with a Taurus. 
um, or another air sign for sure. Um, but you feel like where you're gaining the wisdom, you have the self-confidence um, and the understanding. And it just feels like in the mid-month, you're like, okay, you can come talk to me. Everything's going to be fine. If you need something from me, I will totally give this to you. I will help you out. We will do the sixth house together if you need to go to the gym. If you want to do this, I am here. Because the King of Pentacles takes a lot of time and a lot of energy. It's a very nurturing sign. And, you know, you're saying, you know, look, if you need the money to do so, I've got the Pentacle. I will help you out. You need a ride to the doctor. You need this. You need that. I'm here. So what you really want them, though, to do is really come out with the truth so that you can get this going. Um, and, you know, and it's becoming kind of a burden because you feel like whatever they're doing, either they're hiding it from me because they don't want to hurt you, even though they're already hurting you anyways. <laughs> you know? It's almost like they're determined to do everything on their own and keep it, I'm telling you, keep it a secret. And it's called, that could be where the insecurities are coming from because you, you don't know what the whole secret is, right? I'm telling you, it could be a health issue. But it could be other things as well, right? For some of you, too, it could be also that they lost their job as well, that they're out in the cold. They don't, wanna, they don't want you to help them. They don't want you to help them with the duties of their life. They don't want you to do that because they don't want to burden you. And you're saying no because it's more drama than it is anything. Because, look, if you're, if you're doing that and you're doing all this and that, then it's imbalanced. You're not allowing me to help you. You know, Aqua Pisces, you, the give and take scenario. Here we go again, right? We talk about it all the time. You know, that Pisces side of you is definitely going to want to be the giver and the taker. If I'm going to give to you, you know, you give back. If, you know, uh, you give to me, I'm definitely giving it back. So I don't know what your problem is. And it really feels like that's what it is. Would you just please take this, you know, let me help you out. Maybe they don't want you to because they don't want to feel like they're going to owe you something back. But, I mean, don't people understand that even owing something back could be just as little as a thank you? I appreciate that. It doesn't have to be that you give the shirt off your back. I mean, just a, a gratitude and a thank, a thank you in a meaningful way is all that we really look for. But it feels like they're determined that they're afraid that they're actually going to have to pay something back. Like, you're going to want something out of this. I'm sorry, that's the way it looks. It looks like they don't want to take that because they're afraid that you're going to want way more than they have. And they, they're afraid they won't be able to have that. No. So they're not going to message you about the situation. They'd rather just let it go. That's going to be where you're going to try to accept the challenge. The challenge is, is how do I make them do what I need them to do or get them to do what they need to do? It's not going to happen because you're going to find that you're aware of what they're doing, um, but you're also aware that it's causing a toxicity within the relationship of the situation within the sixth house. And I'm telling you, most of you guys, it's something that has to do with either the work or the duties of their life or health. It could be both. And remember, the health could also just be the tearing down of a healthy relationship, right? You will know. And Spirit literally just said right here, yeah, at the end of the month, you will definitely know. Because between your analytical mind over here thinking... You're already using a little intuition with the star anyways. By this time at the end of the month, you're definitely going to know anyways because your intuition is going to say that is exactly what it is. So then you can figure out at the end of the month which one it was or is it all three. Um, right. But they're not going to they're not going to take your wand because they're still going to sit over here as the king of cups and say no because you're self-assured about yourself over here. Now you're going from, wow, straight diagonal. Look at this, my friends. You're going straight from... The king of swords, your aqua, right? Analytical thinking, trying to figure out what's going on straight into the king of cups. So, well, now my intuition is right there. My psychic senses are saying. So definitely directly right across from each other. Now, because your intuition is kicking now, you're saying, oh, well, now you can't blindside me at all. I was analytically th trying to think of what it was to understand what was going on. 
Now I'm just going to take that analytics with the intuition and it's pumped up now. Yeah. If you're coming to the conclusion, well, you know what, gut feeling says, well, then I guess you're just going to kind of do it all by yourself because you're not going to allow me to help you. So you're coming to the intuition, well, the knowledge says this is exactly what it is. But you're not going to take my cup. You're not going to help me. So I guess you're just going to do what you want to do because you keep denying everything I'm going to do for you. So you're not going to make it any better. You're not going to allow me to help you at all. So where you're going to gain your wisdom is it looks like they really don't want your help. They're being so stubborn. You might be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, Earth sign. The stubbornness is really showing. Ace of Cups, you're saying, well, then we'll just be happy the way we are then. Uh, but I think that what the, the deal is, is you're just going to have to accept that they're being secretive for their own purposes. It's going to be one of those win or lose situations. You're either going to accept that they're keeping something from you and keep going strong because your intuition is going to say, well, I don't know. You're going to have to make it as healthy as possible. I mean, you know, how is it going to be? Are you, you know, it's a committed relationship. For some of you, you're even married to this person. And maybe you already know that they're having a health issue and they're totally denying it. And you're trying to get them to go do something. No matter how it is, even though they're sorting you because of this insecurity or not wanting to do something, in the end of the month, you're saying, well, the relationship is what the relationship is. Um... Intuitively, we can make this go into a nightmare zone by me continuing to keep thinking about what it is I'm going to do with you because it is very intense and you're trying to be as thoughtful as possible. Um, but you're just going to come to the conclusion that the relationship is just not worth all of the all of the challenge. So you're putting yourself into a challenge mode trying to figure out how to help this person, whether it's your husband, wife, sister, brother, whoever it is. It's got to be somebody close, my friends, because it's literally saying at the end of the month, I kind of give up. <laughs> I kind of give up because it doesn't look like I have, you know, I, I'm getting, I, this month they're not going to be able to do anything with them. It just doesn't look like it. It looks like they're just going to continue to go on their merry way. And even if it's your husband or your wife and you're trying to say, well, I'll give you the money to try to do what you need to do. We have the money. Let's put it that way if you're married. We have the money. And they're like, no, we're not going to spend that money. I'm not going to the dog. We ain't spending that. Because that could leave us with a little less money. And I'm not going to do that. Um, so it's, you know. Until they're ready to actually travel towards you and come to the conclusion of what's going to happen. Uh, within the scenario, my friends, within the sixth house. You know, I don't see this working. Maybe you can actually get them to the gym, get them to the doctor, however it is, whatever is going on, right? But until then, it looks like you're just going to, this month, you're just going to have to kind of grit your teeth. That's what it looks like you're going to do in the end. Because you know they're guilty of not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And it's just, yeah, what do you play, what do you pay, what are you planning? They're not planning anything. They're guilty of not planning anything, of not doing anything about it. And they're not going to focus on it either. It feels like almost like Aqua Pisces. You are more focused on it than they are, right? So it's not going to bring any victory this month, right? Because they're making all the bad judgment calls. They're not going to do anything, right? And, I, you know, I do believe, like, you're doing it because, you know, they're very important to you. But that's just not the way it's going to be. You're going to have to wait until they're ready. So where it accepts the challenge to gain the wisdom, yeah, it just looks like all it's going to do is just make you think, think, thinking about new decisions. Because the only wisdom you're going to gain, like I said, is, well, you mean the world to me, so I guess I'll let it go. I'll just go with my intuition and say, well, try again later. The good thing I do like about it, though, is even though you might be pushing a little bit, there's no fighting. There's no fighting. Because you realize the toxicity. I think in more ways, like I said, the insecurity, and I'm, and I'm starting to think the insecurity might not even be the right word for this. It's more like disappointment, right? That they're not listening. 
maybe the insecurity is with them within them though right with you it feels more like i'm not going to get mad i'm not going to argue with you i'm just disappointed that it's not going the way i want it to go okay and that was it for you my friends until next time peace and love bye, -bye.